you that are here, you get the, you know, on-time arrival sticker for the morning. Everybody else back there around the coffee pot, you know, we'll let them come in on their own times. Now, I've been gone, for those of you that don't know it, and uh, I see we have some visitors, so welcome. My name is Nate Reckling, and I'm the pastor here, in case you didn't know. And I've been gone for the last two weeks, and we were in California. And the first week we were at our denomination's general council. Every two years they gather people from around the world. Yes, hello. <laughs> it's not my phone, I left it in the office. And uh, we've, we're gathered with maybe 8,000 other people from across the United States, pastors and uh, their wives and missionaries and laymen from across the United States. It was really, really very good and heard lots of different kinds of speakers. My favorite moment from council took place when the uh, president of the Christian Missionary Alliance Church in Canada brought greetings from uh, Canada. And he told about a recent meeting he was at in Cuba. And he said, I was at this meeting in Cuba and said, there is amazing things happening in the church in Cuba. And while he was there, it wasn't just the Christian Missionary Alliance churches in Cuba. It was all the churches that had gathered together for a conference in Cuba. And he said, there was just an amazing time. He said, they're having a revival among the churches in Cuba. And uh, in this church, the pastors were getting together and asking for forgiveness for uh, things that had kind of taken place and things they had said about each other from church to church and it was just this amazingly fresh sense of God's presence among that greetings. And he said, I just loved my time there. And as I was leaving, uh, one of the leaders of the group came up and he turned to the, the um, president of the church, the CMA churches in Canada, and he said, this has been an amazing time together. We would wish the same experience for you and for your churches. And said, so just let me picture it this way. He said, just imagine that there's a flame inside of me and I want to take that flame and I want you to take this flame and take it to your own heart and carry it with you back to your churches in North America. And as he was talking, you know, he's saying, so he comes out and he says, so he invited uh, President Stumbo, the, our president, to come up. And he said, so in response to that encouragement, you know, he said, look, let me just take this flame of God and let me pass it along to you and through you to the churches in uh, America. And at that moment, I'm just like sitting there going, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's so true. And I'm sitting there and I'm going like this, I'll take it, you know, and you know, really in that moment, I'm saying, Lord, if the, whatever spark of your work, I would just ask for you to turn it into a flame in my heart. And today I come to you with that same thing. And I say from, from the churches of uh, Cuba through the president of the churches in Canada through the CMA president, John Stumbo, to me and now to you. Let's just today receive all that God has for us, all that he wants to do. And let's say, Holy Spirit, do your work among us this morning. I don't know what kind of hunger that creates in your heart. What is it? Is it for a particular answer to prayer? Is it for a, a sense of, of significance in his sight? Is it for your sense that God has a future he's preparing for you? For every one of us, I think there's that beginning hunger that is almost a prerequisite for God's continuing work. So today, start there. Start where you're hungry. Start where you're hungry and look to Jesus to satisfy that hunger in his way. Hmm. So thank you. Thank you for excusing me from ministry here in Nebraska, for, and uh, thank you for giving me not only the time at council, we took a week of vacation, and thank you to Anthony for his ministry. I didn't watch the first Sunday, but last Sunday I happened to catch it. It's on video, in case you didn't know. We're kind of in the process of setting up a system of putting our worship services online so you can 
watch them if you would happen to miss them or share them with someone that you wish was here. And uh, so I'm watching the video last week, and one of the cool things uh, about the video last week was that in serving communion, he asked everybody to come forward. And on the video, I got to see who was in church. <laughs> I pretty much know all of you by the back of your heads. And <laughs> so Anthony, thank you. Thank you for your ministry among us, for the challenge that you brought, for your willingness to speak your heart. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, man. And uh, let's do ask God's blessing on the service he has ready for us today. Lord, we acknowledge your name this morning. And Father God, we need your continued work. And we invite your spirit to do what honors your name in this place. Give us ears to hear and a heart to understand what you have to say to us today. In your name I pray. Amen. Oh, it's so good to have each one of you here this morning. We're just have an opportunity to come before him and sing praises and to thank him today. You know, our, uh, uh, sometimes we kind of pick themes in our praise time songs. And like maybe the theme is great, how great is the Lord. And we'll have several songs that will uh, emphasize that. Or maybe something to do with thanks or whatever. And I tried to stay away. There's a theme that came up, and I just tried to stay away from it. Our, our English language is so odd. Because you can say a word, and it can have the same sound, but it can have a whole, totally different meaning. And uh, so I tried to stay away from, like, our, uh, the Lord reigneth, and showers of blessings, and our God reigns, and stuff like that. <laughs> so... So I just don't want any grim reminders right now, and maybe we'll have to do things like uh, blaze, spirit, blaze, you know, you know, just, uh, yeah, same, there you go. whatever. So, but right, right now, we'll just try to stay away from anything that says any rain or showers or anything else in it. But we're glad you're here today. Let's open up our hearts to him. Let's all stand.
we're so thankful we have this opportunity to come before him this morning to sing praises to him. We're also glad that you're here today. Would you take time to greet one another? If you're visiting, we'll find you.
that the desire of your heart this morning? May all other goals bow down to the journey of loving you more. Prepare your hearts for him. Let him just do a work in your life today. Open up to him as we sing our final song, Amazing Grace. My chains are gone. That you just open up your hearts to him and let him do a work in your life.